We've heard Vibe coding, making SaaS businesses, building out web apps. Also, there's Vibe marketing, automate your automation, create UGC style content. But have you ever heard of Vibe gaming? In this video, I'm going to show you how I'm going to create a game in minutes and how you can do it yourself using this new tool called rosebud.ai. So if you've wanted to learn how to make games with AI, this tutorial is gonna show you exactly how to do it. And not only that, there's thousands of games that you could go in and play. You could remix to customize and make it your own. I'm gonna show you how you could create any image like this one in ChatGPT and then bring it into Rosebud and turn it into a full-fledged game. So if you're tired of just vibe coding some web applications, this is the one for you get into gaming, have fun with it, and you can build not only demos, you can actually turn these into businesses with Stripe integration backend and actually launch it as a real game. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna log into rosebud.ai. They just made a massive update with this new image feature. So I'm gonna show you how this works. We're gonna go into ChatGPT and say this. Make me an image of a futuristic platformer slash Super Mario game. Make it look like it's in game with all the characters, the backgrounds, the colors, make it super vibrant, but put it and make it neon. This has definitely come a long way. And the improvement that they've made, I have to come back and show you guys because it is definitely next level game making now. All right, here's our image. Beautiful image actually. So we're going to now take this back into Rosebud. We're gonna drag this image in and we're gonna say, make this in 3D, replicate the lighting colors and vibes. And off we go. So let's see what this thing does. So it's going to process our request. And then as it says, we're going to start cooking, baby. So the one great thing with this is all the dependencies, all the environments, it's programmed to make games. So you don't have to say, hey, make me a, you know, dot, a 3.js project or pull in these assets. It's going to automatically do that because now it has all the history of the thousands of games that have been created. So this really does streamline it. You can build a lot of other stuff, but for gaming, it is exceptional because it knows everything that it needs in order to actually execute. You'll see the results for version one and we're done. Look at this. Camera, connected, forward movement, back movement. Look at this character created. It already has all the logic. Let's go over here, jump, collecting. What the hell? This is next level vibe game vibe gaming is what i'm calling it but yeah so we got character look at these little characters right here this will work this was one prompt look make this in 3d replicate the lighting color and vibes and that's it now we're going to go to the next step so let's see let's add some simple animations to the player characters like a bobby motion so it's going to suggest all of the things that it knows these games should have and just like that we're off and running i've never seen anything like this this would have taken me in any other application, and I've tried many of them, other tools, there are good ones, there are bad ones, but even the good ones, this would have definitely taken me 10, 15, 20 minutes and probably 10, 15 prompts. Even for the little details, like it picked up on the neon, it picked up on all the backgrounds. Look at the background, look how filled this is. And it works, all the logic works. It has the coins from the image, it's simple, and you can literally start building actual games. Oh, it actually, look, we got logic up here to keep score, so we have three coins collected. Let's get a fourth one. There it is. And let's get a fifth one. So now we got five coins. Yeah, this is too much fun. And of course, guys, if you want to check it out, I got the link below and uh, you can buy me a cup of coffee. I'm always very appreciative of that. So let's add some more elements to the game. And the sky's the limit here. Whatever you can come up with, conceptualize, you can just put it in here and it's going to code it in. And remember, if you can add the assets, if you have assets that you pre-built using other tools, if you know 3D, Blender, you can take all those assets, bring them in here and actually use them in your game. All right, and there we have it. We have a fun, complete game with moving platforms. We can jump up, we can get on the platforms, make sure you stay on. Yeah, so hope you guys see the power of this. Also, if you're ready to build out your game like fully, you can go in here, it's got Superbase integration. You create your URL, you connect it to Superbase, very, very simple. And now you're able to actually have your back end. You're able to set up authentication for your app. And then you're able to actually publish this, set up Stripe and start taking payment. In few clicks, you're able to pull, build a full game, actually get it published, have all the back end connected to it, and you're off and running. I am definitely going to be continuing to play with this. But for now, let's try another game. All right. So let's go back home. And I went in and I said, make an image of a Roblox world. So we have our main image right here. Let's go back into our world. 
rosebud.ai, drag this in and hit enter. You can put as much of a prompt you want. If you have a PRD, if you went through and built out a whole game with ChatGPT, this is all possible. I'm doing it for the quickness of this video. The point is not to finish a complete game. I just want to show you the power of these tools and what you can actually do with a few prompts to get you started on your journey building out AI games. And Rosebud AI just allows you to do it so quickly and at whatever level you're at. If you're just starting out, like I'm showing you, a couple prompts, a couple images created, or if you have a full-blown game that you want to actually build out. So let's see what we get here. Okay, this is one prompt. <laughs> this is too good. Straight up platformer. Look at this. Moving, we got the Ferris wheel. Let's go back. Oh, man. All right, hope you guys see the power of this and what you can actually do with such a simple prompt. We got a tree, everything is connected. There's game logic, there's characters. Ooh, let's try one more. How about this, Zelda style? Ooh, this is gonna look really nice. So Zelda 3D style environment. Here's the image. You guys could see, you could go as crazy as you want with the details, with the lighting, with the mood, set it up, put it in here, and it's gonna do the best job at actually creating it so you could actually play the game however you envisioned it. Whether you designed it yourself or if you went into ChatGPT or some other image generators and created the perfect world that only you could come up with. Here is our Zelda world with some lighting. It took your image exactly how you want. Look at that, it's got the arches. Everything works. You guys could have fun with this. So next, I wanna show you what you can actually do with the Remix feature, which is definitely one of my favorite features. So if you're just interested in finding a fun game like this right here, you could actually go to this button and actually go in and remix this game. So it's gonna first, let's play it. Let's see how good this is. So this is all done with Rosebud. All right, here we go. We're, we're back in it. Wow. So you could totally buy for the racing game. Yeah, fireball. I want to shrink you. And let's try the explosion. There we go. We're back. Okay, so let's return main menu. Okay, so next let's remix a game. So you can go in here. You could find a current game like this. And then you hit this button right here. It says create from. And then it allows you to actually remix the game and make it your own. So let's pull up this one. So we got a world right here with a little character. Wow, look at that. So we got some characters here. I want you to add a jetpack to my character so I can fly around, period. Also, I want to change up the whole look of this and make it nighttime with lights and all the lighting effects. Okay, that's a pretty heavy prompt for something that's already fully coded, but let's see if it actually does it in one shot. All right, here we go. Look at this, moonlighting. It totally works. And guess what? We got our... Let me show you this really quick. All right, so here we go. We got our moonlighting, which I like. We can jump, but now we got one extra. <laughs> we got a jetpack. Let's go. <laughs> Talk about moving around quickly. We are flying with our jetpack, baby. Yeah, this is too fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. This is it for this video, but let's just fly off into the moon. It works. It's fun. You guys can have a play. Check out rosebud.ai and see what you guys create. Definitely let me know in the comment section what I should try next and what games you guys built. And also, if you guys want to check out the No Code AI Army, it's my private community, 100% for free for you guys. If you're building No Code, if you're a full stack developer, you just want to learn. Or if you know exactly what you want to do, come into our group. We got 5,058 members. We just hit 5K, which is absolutely crazy and we're gonna continue growing. The goal is 100,000 this year. So we got a long way to go, but we got plenty of people in here. So hope you guys enjoyed that. Rose by that day, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.